Well, you guys, welcome back. Welcome back. This is my uh, second day of driving the dump truck here on this new, my new side hustle. Working for an excavation company. And I am on my way out to uh, one of my favorite gravel pits out here at Martin Marietta. Out of the big uh, cement plant here in Clarkdale, Arizona. And I'm about to get to about 18 tons of uh, one inch minus road gravel. So this will be kind of a, a different run for me. I was hauling red rock this morning um, out of one of our job sites that we're working on and hauling it to a storage place. Basically, we're saving it up for different things. Um, and then one, one load of boulders to a different location. So that one was kind of cool. And then this load here is going out to a private residence. And uh, they're going to be covering up part of their driveway with this road gravel. So, so this truck is a 14-wheel uh, dump truck. It's got two drop axles. Um, and it's uh, capable of about 20 tons, fully loaded. Got a little problem with one of the drop axles today. For some reason, it didn't want to work. So uh, we're just we're going to load it a little bit lighter, and we're only using one drop axle, so that's fine. It's not overloading the truck. That's for the roads. Use the drop axles to uh, help spread the weight out on the highway. So, anywho, we're almost here to the plant. We're out uh, just another half a mile up here. We'll be turning, and getting on the scale. And I'll pull on the scale, wait for the green light, and then I'll go inside and uh, tell them what I want, and then head on up to the pile. So this will be nice. I've I've gone out here a few times in my little dump trailer, but I have not brought the big this big dump truck out here before. So he won't be able to fill me up with just one scoop this time. Usually in my dump trailer, he gives me not even quite a full scoop and that fills me up but this one here is going to probably take three three full buckets on that big loader the cat 980 loader and i believe it's a six yard or six ton bucket anyway so we're going to turn right in here There's nobody coming out because I'm going to go in the out road, which gets me straight onto the scale. A little less maneuvering. We drive up slow, slow, slow. Onto the scale, slow. Just like that. Easy does it. And once I'm all the way on, wait till I see the green light. I am, uh, looks like 22,000 and some change empty. Set the brake because I will go in and uh, get my, tell them what I want and get everything ready to go here, and I'll be back with you shortly. Okay guys, we're heading up to the pile. Get our gravel. And I'm not sure if I will need... <coughs> I'm not sure if I'll need to lock the interlock going up this hill or not. When I get up to where the gravel pile is, I've spun out before in my pickup, pulling my trailer up there, so... I can lock the two rear axles together on this truck and it gives me a little more traction if I need to. I'm gonna try it without. I kind of don't think I'll need it. So just so you guys know, while I'm doing these videos, everything is hands-free. You can see my hands up here. I've got a camera mounted on a headband and so I just turn it on and drive along and talk, and which is, I would do that anyway, even if I wasn't making a video, I talk to myself, so it just works out perfect. So everywhere I look, the camera looks, 
but it's completely hands-free so it's nice and safe I don't have to fiddle with it I'm not messing with it while I'm driving or anything like that okay let's see where loader man is he's probably gonna want me to back in by the pile I'm gonna guess yep I'm gonna swing around over here in position hopefully make life easy for him he's on his phone right now so I think that's probably good right there I'm gonna park it and he'll tell me if he needs me to be somewhere else he probably getting the uh, instructions right now from the scale house on what I need. They have a massive pile of one inch, so uh, they never run out of that stuff. They're constantly making it. Let's see if I'm good right here. he's going on that side to get a scoop can kind of see him in my little round mirror down there Um, scoop number one is probably going to shake the truck. No, oh, not too bad. Not too bad. The first day running, I was uh, hauling gravel from a different gravel pit, same material, but this place was closed on that particular Friday for some reason. And so we were hauling from almost clear out in Camp Verde back into a, another job site that we were working on all right here comes scoop number two and he's got a scale on that bucket so he'll uh he'll raise that thing up and figure out for sure how much he's got in each scoop so as not to overload me I can feel it tilting the truck back and forth. He's a good loader, so he uh, he gets the, the load really nicely centered in there for me. Oh, he's saying that's it. And we're off so it was only two scoops so when he does a a full scooper there he's getting pretty close to nine tons per scoop I guess Wow that's amazing so he really takes it easy on me when I'm in my little dump trailer okay guys well I'm gonna cut this off right here uh, temporarily and then I will bring this back again when I get out closer to uh, where I'm gonna be dumping this off so I'll be with you th then okay guys we are approaching our destination here I got to go down through some kind of curvy little switchbacks into a little place called Cornville and then uh, down here at the bottom of the hill there's a road I got to turn on I'm gonna probably have to stop down there and uh, text this lady back or call her and get the exact address. I know approximately where it is, but I know this road that I'm gonna turn on is kinda narrow and I don't wanna get back in there and have to 
back up all the way out of it because I didn't have the right address. Not sure how many big turnarounds there are down there. So we'll just ease down the hill. Our total weight was about uh, 55,500, 600 pounds, something like that. So we got 18 and a half tons of gravel. Just slow and steady going through these curves. Dump truck's kind of top heavy, so I have to be a little careful. Anything big like this that weighs that much, you got to be careful. There's a few cars behind me. I'm sure they're thrilled. They'd love to be whipping down through here faster, but not much I can do about that. All right, the turn is coming up here pretty quick, so I'm going to pull off for a second, make sure I have the right address, and then I'll get back with you when I turn in there. Well, I still don't have the uh, exact address, but I'm pretty sure I know where to go. So we're going to wander on down here a bit. I'll find a place to turn around if I have to. Those people would stay in their lane. That would be helpful. Guys on motorcycles come around the corner too sharp. So we pretty much go all the way down this, I believe, to the end, and then I'll have to turn right. And then I'll go down a little ways further and have to turn right again, and then I go all the way to the end of that. And I believe it kind of dead ends at my location, so we'll see. This could get a little interesting back here if I get into a spot where I can't, can't get through or where I'm in the wrong place. This truck's not near as hard to back up as what I was driving when I was going down to the landfill, but <coughs> but it'll still be uh, interesting, maybe entertaining. Oh, here's Winslow Way right here. I got to turn on this one. Oh, uh, let's see. No. Do I turn on this one? nobody behind me real quick I'm gonna take a quick look at my map slow way yep that's where I got to turn right here okay now I should have to turn right again I don't have a choice. I'm not going into that place. That's not the location. So we turn right again and hope the directions are correct and we follow this all the way down to the end. Country Loft Antiques. Okay, that's where I want to go. Let me back up just a touch, make sure I can make this turn. Tight, 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 but I'm going to make it. go ahead and raise our drop axle right now because I can't back up with that down anyway all right now I know where I'm going right over here on the left in this open area that's where they want me to dump that stuff so that's where I'm gonna dump it right there I got nothing overhead looks like that's good
Okay. Let me go ahead and open my tarp. Raise the tarp up. Now we'll back up in there. Make sure I got no bushes and trees in the way. Doesn't look like it. I'll get out here in a second and go back and double double check where I'm putting this. Go take a peek. looks pretty good like a good spot right here okay that'll be kind of out of their way okay uh, so let's see here first thing I got to do unlock tailgate that unlatches it then I lift it's got a race a tailgate that raises up on the back okay now I bring my PTO lever down here into the neutral position. Push this down. And come on, baby. Turn on the PTO. Push it down into the lift position. I need to be in neutral. There we go. And I'm gonna give her a little throttle and the bed's gonna start to go up. like so you can see it in the rear view mirror I'm gonna watch that as it's gonna start dumping and then the pile it's kind of interesting as the pile builds up in the back it'll start pushing me forward all I got to do is let off on the brake like that and it'll start shoving me forward Like that just shoving me I'm, I'm just coasting in neutral call that good I'm gonna put it in drive and just ease forward that last little bit just like that all right PTO off pull the lever back and the bed will come down just like that. Okay. Now we relock the drop gate. It's going to make a big clunk. There we go. And then we're going to relatch the tailgate. Put it back into neutral. And we're going to go make sure that the tailgate latched just like we always did on the trash truck. Okay, and it did latch. And we're good to go. So now I'm going to pull forward over there and I'll back up over here. And then I'll be turned around here. Ah. I say with utmost confidence that I can pull that off. Might have to maneuver around a little bit. We'll see, we'll see how far we have to go. Got some bushes back there I don't want to back into big mesquite trees forward a little more okay hitting these with my mirror but that's not gonna hurt anything I'm gonna miss that big one 
Back there, nothing on this side to worry about. Okay, and we can get out. Just like that, we made it, no problem. Leaving our big pile of gravel behind us. Okay guys, well, there you go. There you've been with me for a dump run, a gravel dump truck run. Um, I hope to keep making these videos. I may be doing one more load out here today, but that's a pretty big pile. And that's kind of the whole area they've got to put it in right there. So they're probably not gonna want me to bring another pile. I'm going to actually, now that I think about this, I'm gonna back up. I'm going to take a picture of that pile and send it to her so that she sees how much I dumped. And that should give her an idea if they want a second load today or if they want to wait. For another load. So let's get my camera. Photo. Ooh, it's kind of glary, but there we go. Back up a little bit more so they see where it is. Oh, under here in the bushes. Dream Star Loft parking. Okay, that ought to do it. I can send her those pictures. Then she'll know if she wants another load or not. So I'll pull up out of here. Although I don't think anybody's home right now, I could probably send her the pictures from right here. So I will do that, but I don't need to have you guys on with me. That'll be dull and uninteresting. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please hit that like button down at the bottom. And if you haven't already, Please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to keep these videos coming and uh, have all different kinds of things going on. I think working for this company, there's every day is a little bit different, so it's kind of fun. Anyway, guys, thanks again for joining me. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you later.